The MAGA world really has some weird ideas of what Donald Trump is, or at least what they want you to believe that he is. And in the absence of evidence that he, for instance, is a religious person who actually prays or has ever stood next to a person who isn't white, you know, they're just gonna have AI fill the gaps. And that's what we need to talk about today. They want you to believe that he's like very supported by African Americans and you know, sometimes talks to people who are African American. And they would love to just tweet out images of that, but they don't have them. So in comes technology. And so you get pictures like this of Donald Trump posing with people of color, arms around black women, which apparently he won't just do for his fans. They instead have to create those images, but there's others too. Here he is sitting on a stoop. And then some of them aren't even directly of Donald Trump. Here is an image of a like campaign worker wearing sort of MAGA-esque gear, just trying to register to vote a man who has three arms. Um, you know, as some people do. <laughs> now I want to break down and also oh, wait, all of the also, words on his MAGA gear is nonsense also, who's words. Who's canvassing whom? Because the guy being canvassed too seems like he's the one who's decked out in the MAGA gear. But the one like it's just I don't know. Like, he's sometimes closer AI's, to the house. Yeah. Three arms. But three but, um, arms. Here's the thing. That first image was posted by Mark K, a radio host, who says, I'm not a photojournalist. I'm not here taking pictures of what's really happening. I'm a storyteller, which is true. A liar is a kind of storyteller, I suppose. He says, I'm not claiming it's accurate. I'm not saying, hey, look, Donald Trump was at this party with all these African American voters. Look how much they love him. If anybody's voting one way or another because of one photo they see on Facebook, that's a problem with that person, not with the post itself, which might even be true on some level. But it really does absolve you of the fact that you're willfully lying to these people. That's what you're doing. By the way, so that was him, white radio host. Another white guy is the one who posted the image of him on the stoop. It's this white Trump supporter from Michigan who, when he was questioned about creating this deep fake image and then posting it, blocked the BBC reporter who questioned about it. That that post, by the way, has 1.3 million views. And so it's the least surprising thing in the world. But all of these people who are pretending that Donald Trump hangs out with black people are all white people. As is so often the case on Twitter, like you, you I don't wanna get into it, but Jesus. They really want to pretend that he's this guy that he isn't. He could just go. I'm sure there's many black people who like Donald Trump. He could go to a party with them. He could visit one of their houses. He could do this stuff, Francesca, but he refuses to. So in comes the AI images. I love this. I actually kind of like that the guy is just being honest. Like, nah, I'm lying. It's a, clearly it's a lie. It says fake in the corner, which I'm assuming he put in there. Um, it like that, looks that like, comes after the PVC. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it didn't That's, say fake. I thought he was like, oh, this is like Life Magazine, but fake. Okay, yeah, this is. I like that he's just honest about it, but also that he's a radio host and definitely will not lose his job over just putting out misinformation and all this stuff. Like that's that's fine. I mean, that's when you're in the right wing o sphere, like you just fail up. Um, but yeah, or you go and actually talk to black people. But I don't know. Maybe don't three arms to. is what you need to convince black <laughs> Americans to vote. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's just like. They they love the idea that he is this guy who has a broad base of appeal, or he's this guy who like prays in church. But you're literally making it up. Like, why doesn't that bother you more? At least than put him does? in the sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Put him in the gold sneakers that he's definitely sneakers. never worn. God. Anyway, they they're lying. They know that they're lying. They're not apologetic that they're lying. And as Francesca said, they're not going to lose their jobs because they're lying. And I look, I think this story is fascinating, but I'm also covering it because you need to be ready for this stuff to be everywhere all the time, okay? Yeah. Every AI everywhere all at once. That's the politics that we're racing towards.